To more accurately test the hamstrings in isolation, what we can do is we can put a bit of medial rotation into the hip and into the knee for the um, semitendinosus and semimembranosus, and we can put a little bit of lateral rotation in for the biceps femoris, which comes into here, into this lateral side of the, the lower leg. So if we're just testing hamstrings over the hip and the knee, um, semi semitendinosus and semimembranosus, to put that bit of medial rotation in, all we do is put the, the foot inward slightly, so we've got a little bit of extension in the hip, a little bit of flexion in the knee, and then what we do is we get the, the patient to hold that position, and we then ask them to further extend the hip and flex the knee against our resistance. And because we've now got that bit of medial rotation in, then the, the hamstrings that will kick in there are your two semis, the semitendinosus and semimembranosus. However, if we ask them to take their, their foot outward slightly, then what we're now doing is bring the, the, the direction of force into this lateral side, into the biceps femoris. So again, with a little bit of extension in the hip, a little bit of flexion in the knee, and we're going to resist further extension of the hip and further flexion of the knee there, and that will then make the biceps femoris be the, the main flexor of the knee and extender of the hip.